Coach Kelly Sheffield is with us. Our student athletes are Sarah Franklin, Izzy Ashburn, and MJ Hamill. And we'll start, Coach, with asking for your thoughts on tonight's match, please. Well, it's just thought it was a uh, the, the, Texas played a great match. You know, congratulations to them. It, um, you, you know, I, I thought they they came out uh, in the first set probably a little bit steadier than what we were. We we made probably a few more errors than what we typically do in the first set, and thought we started settling down a little bit uh, toward the end of that. Uh, the Second set, we started playing a little bit more Wisconsin volleyball, and then when, when they came out uh, uh, of the locker room, I, I thought uh, th their serving kind of uh, turned the tide. I thought they were very courageous behind the service line and and really putting a lot, a lot of pressure um, on our on our patterns, servicey patterns. And uh, Skinner, I mean, that's. You know her serving. I don't know how many service aces she ended up having, but it, but just our pastors were having to battle. They were having to battle uh, hard for for some of those. And then um, start of the, the first set, I thought Winnis played really well and gave them a big lift in the first set. And in the third and the fourth set, it was uh, it was O'Neill and uh, and uh, and Skinner uh, attacking. I thought their their young kids played well. Very good effort out of their out of out of Swindle, um, and uh, we gave it our best shot. But uh, we, we, you know, I, I I told these guys all year if somebody's going to knock us out, it was going to take a great effort, and Texas certainly gave us that tonight. Your questions. Start here, Coach. You take a, a challenge at six to three and they run nine straight points, it was like you could never get momentum back after that. Was that the case? Mm. Well, I mean, we got, we got momentum back in the second set. Oh, the it, set. Oh, the third set? Yeah, it's a, um, I don't know. It's, uh, I, I, I don't know if it had anything to do with that. I just, I, I thought, it, Skinner serve we knew was really, really good. And when she starts, when she, you know, it's uh, some players when they start getting, you know, two and three serves or serves get better. And that was, you know, a, a player like that, you want to you want to try to get off the line quick because once she starts getting her mojo and, and confidence back here and a little bit of rhythm, it just makes it tough for everybody. And she was able to do that. We go here on the aisle, please. Sarah, those roles that they got on, a week ago it was you that got on the roles against the other team. What's the feeling out there, the sense of them coming at you and, and pounding you at that point? Uh, how did you try and deal with that? Yeah, we knew Texas was a good team. We knew they were going to get their points. We tried to just have that next ball mentality and sometimes with how, with how tough the serve is, it kind of just gets away a little bit. But we knew they were going to be a strong strong team, so we tried to really focus on trying to get in that next point and just siding out quicker. First row. Uh, MJ or, or Izzy, can you, you just speak to, you know, trying to come back and bounce back from in, in that uh, fourth set? And, you know, after you lose the third set the way you did, how much of a challenge was it? And, and what was it, what, how did it feel out there, you know, with, with the team? I think that's a great part about volleyball is you get to really start over a true zero zero at the beginning of each set. And so, you know, we just we went back to trying to play Badger volleyball. Um, they ended up serving great. They they were playing really well, but but truly it was being able to kind of fully start over and reset a little bit. Um, we just couldn't really get in our groove. Yeah, they're a good team, good serving. You got us out of rhythm a little bit. Um, we're a team that never backs down, though. Play with a lot of heart, and it's a program that's going to fight to the end, and that's what we did. Go to the second row, please. Kelly, you've gotten this program now where the standards are, are super high. When you look back at this season, how do you characterize it? How do you, how do you rate it? Well, I, I've, 
I think it's unfair. I, I don't want to be somebody that says you got to win a championship or it's a lost season. I just I I've, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to be in this profession if that's what we if that's what it is and that's what our players are are feeling. You know, we, we don't we don't talk about that. We talk about you know trying to play in our best, trying to get better. Um, be the best we can be, max out all those types of, of things. That that's you know, and and hopefully along the way you're with people that you enjoy being around. Um, you know, it's uh, you know, there's there's uh, there's a lot to celebrate. There's a lot to be proud of, and uh, and I know these guys are. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a bittersweet moment because I know they thoroughly enjoyed playing with each other and for each other and the, and the fan base and the university. Um, but uh, you know, that's sports, and they have nothing to hang their heads about. Um, and uh, it, it was a great year. It was a great year, and uh, we wish we had a few more days with them. Uh, but uh, that's the way it goes. On the aisle. Um, well, sort of along the same line, MJ, Izzy, this is your last match. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. How do you balance that? <laughs> How do you balance all of that's happened through four and five years with tonight? Um, you know, for me, it's just so much gratitude. I look back and there really is no regrets, um, which is – the way that I want to be leaving the sport. Um, I feel like the luckiest girl that I've gotten to surround myself with these people for the past four years. Um, you know, not the way we wanted to end it, but gave it everything that we had. I'm just so grateful that I got the opportunity to play my fifth year and to experience it with this exact group and all the years I've been here, just completely different groups. and different dynamics in the team and different experiences together. And I mean, I was just hoping to play college volleyball anywhere in middle school and beginning of high school and to come here and to accomplish so many different things with the people I want to be around and the people I want to play for. I'm nothing but grateful. Go to the back corner in the third row, please. Yeah, coach, one question about tonight's match. You had five blocks in the second set. And then the kind of the block slowed down, the Wisconsin block slowed down, set three and four. Any specific adjustments that you saw Texas make that led to less blocks? Uh, their attackers were better than our block. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a uh, it, it's a good question. I'm not trying to blow it off. It's. Uh, I don't know. I mean, those are really talented attackers. You know, they've got some some really really special uh, attackers. I thought the setter uh, Swindle put them in in good positions. They got up there. They they when, when you're playing against a really good block and both teams blocks are are, are really good. You've got to you've got to take that ball high. You've got to hit high. You got to hit edges. Uh, you got to be patient. Um, all those things. Um, and uh, and I thought they did a, a really good job of doing that. Go to the back row. Kelly, oh, now that you've obviously seen and played against both teams, could you assess what the championship match will be like? Uh, it's a, um, I think it's going to be a, an all-time great match. I don't think uh, – I think uh, whether you're a volleyball fan or not, I mean, if you're just a sport fan, you'd be uh, you'd be nuts not to watch it. It's uh, uh, you, you have. Uh, I mean, both teams are just complete teams. Both teams have gotten a lot better as the season's uh, gone on. Um, it's a uh, uh, you know, if you were to ask me who, who do I think is going to win, I, I couldn't even tell you. I, it, uh, I, here's what I know. Both teams are playing their best volleyball right now, both of them. I mean, Nebraska has been rolling through the, um, uh, the tournament. Uh, you know, they, I mean, they've been rolling through the season. And Texas is, I mean, with their backs against the wall, they haven't flinched. And, uh, I mean, they're, you know, I, I remember seeing them earlier in this year. They're a totally different team. They've really, really grown well together. Uh, should, be, should be a great match. Second row. Sarah, you're the one up there that's coming back. Uh, sometimes losses like this can kind of serve as fuel. Going into offseason, do you sense that that'll probably happen? 
Oh, for sure. We are our, we are a team that doesn't back down, doesn't give up, and this is definitely fuel coming into spring, coming into summer, coming into preseason next year. Um, it's a great opportunity to come back uh, with this group of girls, and I think we should watch out for, for next year. On the aisle? Well, on that topic, Coach, conveniently, coincidentally, whenever the news broke that you are going to rematch with Texas Labor Day, I, I want to know a little bit about maybe the creation of that tournament with Stanford and, and, a, and a packed field like that and what that can kind of mean for the sport as well. Well, it's awesome. I mean, to be on that big of a stage and, and in that arena and uh, that type of competition, it's, uh, it'll, it, I mean, it's, it's how... Uh, at some point, I will be very excited about that. Uh, not right now, but it's a, but it's great for our sport. I mean, it's just it, it's awesome for our sport, and that's one of the things is that you know who we've all seen that top teams in in, in this sport don't uh, shy away from playing each other, and uh, it, you know it's, it's just more fun that way, right? And uh, with you know, we played in front of 20,000 people tonight and, and uh, just a, a, a great environment and to be able to kick off the season uh, in a very similar environment uh, and and hopefully be able, to, you know, as a sport bookend uh, the season. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Go here. Coach, for you first and then all the players, all your teams are different. What's the one positive memory you're going to take away from this year? Uh, their joy for being in the gym, uh, no doubt. Uh, their joy being around each other. Uh, it was a uh, a team that grew together. You could tell they thoroughly enjoyed being around each other. They, you could tell they thoroughly enjoyed being in the gym. Bunch of gym rats, uh, especially these three up here. Um, you know, and 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 their feistiness. <laughs> um. I don't know if I have one. I think it's just, I think it's the little moments. Um, you know, for me, it's like when, when I'm in practice and I get to kind of see I'm actually in a Wisconsin shirt, you know, playing volleyball at 21 years old, still with my best friends. I think even in the toughest moments, this team has looked around and we know we're exactly right, right where we want to be. And it's something we talk about a lot. It's we talk about the hardest practices we've been through, the hardest uh, lifts and conditions we've been through, and we've we've always just looked around with so much joy and been exactly where we want to be. Whether we're sweating, crying, hitting the floor and bleeding, um, this group wants to work and we want to work together, and it's hard to get us away from each other. I think the biggest takeaway I have from this year is how much growth I've seen in every single person. At the beginning of the season, we were a little bit of a different team, and I think everyone's kind of stepped up a lot into their roles, each and every one. And I, so I think it's just really cool to see that growth across the board. On the aisle. Uh, MJ, it looked like in the, I guess it was in the second set, it looked like you winced at one point and like there was something, something not right. <laughs> um, what happened and what kind of impact did that have on how, they, you know, how you were able to play tonight? Um, so I actually, I think I stepped on maybe Gigi and just kind of like tweaked my ankle a little bit. Not really the first time that I've done that. I tend to step on people when I'm covering. It's kind of odd. Um, so much adrenaline, really didn't feel it after a couple points and I don't think it had any impact on how invested or how hard I was working in the game. I'll stay there. Uh, also for, uh, for the coach, for Kelly, um, you said at the outset that the team uh, had some errors that were sort of uncharacteristic uh, at the outset of the match, and it seemed like there were errors in other set, other parts of the match as well, that seemed uncharacteristic of the team. Do you, to what extent, do you attribute that to you, to you guys, as opposed to how Texas was playing? Oh, I think uh, m most of it was was Texas. You, you know, it's a, uh, um, uh, you know, they 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 kept the pressure on us. And uh, and uh, it's it's uh, we didn't we didn't play our best volleyball. I don't think there's you know that's not a secret. Um, but I would say most of it had to do with how uh, how they were playing. Um, I thought we were prepared to play. Um, 
you, you know, it, uh, it was, it was their, it was their night. We go in the first row in the aisle. Uh, uh, Coach, are you going to watch the game Sunday or are you kind of going to step back and kind of decompress a little bit? And what do you think of the game being on ABC and kind of college volleyball taking that next step? It's it's awesome that it's on, uh, you know, on on ABC. I mean, it's it's great. It is um, it is what we've had three matches now on on you know uh, whether it's Fox or ABC and ESPN has picked up their coverage in a big big way. It's a uh, it's 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 been an awesome incredible year for the sport of volleyball. I mean, it's been it's it's the best year. It has flat out been the best year. Um, uh, that we've ever had. Um, you know, I thought the the, the NCAA committee has uh, done a, has done it a great job. Tampa has done a fantastic job. Uh, it's been a great tournament. Uh, there's there's so much to be excited about in, in our sport. We're heading in the right direction, and uh, it's you know it's never fast enough, right? <laughs> I mean, just it's never fast enough, but it's. Um, but we're excited. We're excited about the final. Uh, I'm sure those will have massive, massive numbers as, as it should.